Hey everybody, it's Bust with Battles with Bust number 546, and today we'll be playing Backpack Battles. And so, this will be our last introductory video into the classes of Backpack Battles. We've talked about the Berserker, we've talked about the Reaper, we've talked about the Ranger. Today we're going to be talking about the Pyromancer. And to me, uh, the Pyromancer doesn't really fit the bill as the kind of classic fire mage. That's what I would suspect it to do. You show up, just start throwing fireballs at people, and you call it a day. <laughs> it doesn't really uh, feel like that. Uh, fire mages, to me, feel like they have more of a kind of burst aspect to them to where they're shooting you know one big pyroblast right at the opponent's nugget but what we're going to see out of the Pyromancer is they're going to scale uh, through the Heat ability. They have very powerful late game abilities with the usage of the Heat mechanic. So the Heat ability, it says all items trigger 2% faster per stack. And so if we have 10 stacks of Heat, our abilities will uh, activate 20% faster. If we have uh, 20 stacks of Heat, they'll all activate 40% faster. Look at me nailing that math. <laughs> and so the way these cycles kind of build upon themselves is say we have an item that on hit gives you an additional point of heat. So that item is already getting its uh, attack speed reduced because of the heat mechanic. Now that it hits the opponent, we generate a heat and it's going to start attacking faster. We hit the opponent again, it generates another heat, we start attacking faster. And so you get this nice little cycle of uh, your faster attack generates more heat, that heat generates more fast attacks, and you really build up the abilities in that way. Uh, the heat item, or the flame item, we should say, also ties into the backpack from the Pyromancer. We have the um, uh, the fire pit here, which adds uh, the nine backpack, backpack slots, and then each of those slots will give you four maximum health for each fire item inside. And so if we have a full nine fire items within the fire pit. It's going to generate 36 health at the start of the turn. And then we also have a chance to generate a flame. Uh, the flame doesn't generate 100% of the time, I believe. I, I should know by this point, but uh, I'm pretty certain it's like a 50% chance to actually generate the flame. Uh, we always mention the subclass items as being the biggest build around aspects of each class. Uh, to speak towards the Pyromancer, there's first and foremost the Friendly Fire. This is the mana-based ability coming out of the uh, Pyromancer class, which basically lets you spend a mana to generate two flames. And so if you're able to generate a whole bunch of mana, then you're able to generate a whole bunch of flames after that and really just scale up all the remainder of your abilities. It does have this 20 flame reached, 40 flame reached, 80 flame reached abilities. Uh, these do not spend the flames, right? This is when you hit it. This is like a, a threshold to hit and something happens. And so you hit 20 flames, you gain five luck. That's not uh, 20 flame and spend it all. And so you get a lot of incentive to really generate a whole bunch of mana, which in turn generates a whole bunch of flames and then you get a lot of good advantages out of that you can also see this thing is just completely encircled <laughs> by the stars lots of activations coming out of this up next we have both the holy and the dark abilities coming out of this class the burning banner is going to tie into the holy items this class has a uh, a special set of items that fit within the holy mechanic. Let me see if we can find the sun armor here. This is going to be the big build around aspect to it. And so this builds off of the base holy armor, makes all of the fire items around the sun armor into holy. And then you can go back and activate the burning banner which does additional stuff based on having holy items. And so this really, to me, focuses in on the health regeneration aspects of the holy mechanic. You're trying to generate a lot of health and then just drain out your opponent as time goes on. A lot of those uh, activating heart-based items do have cooldowns on them. And so as you get more heat, that builds up more regeneration from those things. Uh, up next is the Dark Lantern. This ties into the reincarnate mechanic. And so what we'll kind of interestingly see out of the mage is it's good at generating a bunch of health. The Dark Lantern cuts a bunch of that into half, but you get to come back to life after you die the first time. The kind of neat little synergy with the Dark Lantern is if you have ways to gain health, then you really get a ton of health, right? So if we start at 200, we fall to 100 because of the Dark Lantern, but then we heal ourselves back up to 200. It's like we just gain 
gained a whole bunch of health along the way. So it tends to tie into the vampire mechanics. Uh, after that, we have the frozen flame. This brings forth the ice mechanic. I'm not a huge fan of the frozen flame. I'm not super experienced with it because it's kind of hard to pull off in the sense that ice cards don't show up until you buy the frozen flame. So you can't really start getting ice cards until halfway through the battle. But this does start to generate the Ice Buckler and the Ice Drake and some Ice Spells, uh, and they all tie into the Frostbite thing, or the Cold thing, Frostbite's <laughs> Legends of Runeterra. They tie into the Cold mechanic, which is opposite of Heat, which slows down your opponent's abilities. Uh, last but not least, we have the Dragon Nest. As the name implies, this goes towards building uh, the Dragon's... Uh, build around pet mechanic. The big thing with it is the dragon eggs hatch after one round. You typically have to spend two rounds of just having a pretty much do nothing dragon egg within your kit. Uh, this makes them activate one round after one round so you get back to having them uh, within your abilities quicker. But that's a quick primer with the pyromancer. Let's jump into a game real quick, see if we can't clean up some of these abilities get to explaining it a little bit better. And so within the shop, I'm happy enough to just come in and pick up this banana. Uh, as I've gotten more experienced in the game, I really like the on sale items in the early game. So we'll pick up the banana. It works nicely as well in the sense that you're typically running out of stamina in the early game. Uh, otherwise, I'm not opposed to taking brooms, but it's a little bit expensive here. I want to take a roll, see if anything else turns up. Kind of a crappy start. Not, not a lot happening. I'll pick the flame. It only costs one mana. We'll take another reroll. Maybe something will turn up here. And now we finally find some things to build around. We have a whetstone, which can be used to uh, upgrade the wooden sword. It's worth noting that these wooden swords have uh, a lot of upgrades within the Pyromancer class. You can see the burning sword which is the hero sword with two flames on it down here at the bottom we have the torch which is the wooden sword and a lump of coal and then the unshown one here is the uh, I, I believe it's the the torch with another flame thing attached to it and so lots of build around possibilities we'll still come in and look to build this hero sword uh, and then i think we have the three gold left over so we can still get the second wooden sword all right load up the bag with the old flames jump on into battle oh i want to save this uh i want to save this bag now let's move on there are some interesting builds with the hammer we, we did have a hammer within that bag it's uh it's something i'll touch on in a future video but it doesn't feel very pyromancery and so <laughs> i wanted to, to to go ahead and skip past that one but Opposing Pyromancer zinged us a little bit harder. They had a bit of health regeneration that carries pretty hard in the early game, and so not too surprised to see us fall there. But moving on, we did get a generated flame. It just turns up within our bag. Uh, I want to get this pig. Uh, this is the nice uh, build around as far as economy goes with the uh, additional money coming from the piggy bank, but also tying into the uh, gaining health at the start of battle. And otherwise, I would like this other banana, but uh, we don't have the, the money to get it. We had to do all of that rolling at the beginning of the game and uh, it didn't really help us out. Oh, we had our whetstone the wrong way, too. We're figuring it out. We're learning. <laughs> a bit of a whoopsies to start with, but we'll see if we can't turn it around. Looks like the barbarian's going for the foods. I think we're okay. We just fought through their battle rage and didn't get nuked. I gotta think that we're doing pretty good then. Running out of stamina as far as combat goes, but got there at the end of the day. All right, all right. And so, uh, interesting stuff here. So we have the spear. The spear does build into some interesting items. There's the holy spear, uh, which ties into that holy mechanic, gives you a... Uh, reasonable attacky based item if we're doing all of the holy things with the sun armor and then it does also turn into the molten spear down here at the bottom and so uh, very good at destroying armor but the molten spear does drain your uh your flame reserves if that's something that you're building towards and so i think i'm okay to pick it up it's on sale uh, and so that's a, a good deal I'm going to go ahead and pick up the customer card that's on sale as well. Then we'll take another reroll. We're going to cycle, come back and see what we think we want to do with this spear. And so what I'm kind of leaning towards is uh, I don't want to turn it into the flame spear. It's just not a mechanic that I'm super fond of. And so if we can, though, 
uh, I would like to uh, get it into into the combat space. And so let's see if we can't do that. I would like to get the banana out here as well. Uh, this is just going to be all around awkward, isn't it? <laughs> this is just going to be awkward. I guess that's kind of coming together. Got all this space and just doesn't doesn't look like we're using it appropriately. All right, I guess that gets us down to just one square. Now I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the combined locking. It didn't look like it was about to activate, but I want to just ensure that it doesn't activate here. Dive into this next round. Oh, there was a whetstone out there. I'm losing it. We could have got the upgrade to our wooden sword here. I think it's okay. If we're going to build towards the holy mechanic, we don't super want the wooden swords anyways. Let's see. And all right, I do like seeing the, the mana orbs turn up early. This is a nice uh, build around thing as well. And I do like the daggers. The thing that I will say is I tend to just take pretty much every single dagger that I see. Uh, I think that these are uh, severely underrated at this point. And so uh, I think that's the way we can go. I, I'm looking to uh, build towards holy. Uh, I think that we can pull that off and then the mana will work nicely with it. A lot of the holy items do spend mana along the way. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of the whetstone. We'll get rid of the wooden sword, pick up the dagger, pick up the uh, mana orb. Let's roll and see if we find another bag. We did. We can afford it as well. All right, it's a, it's a nice little bit of recovery that we were able to pull off. And so I think I do want to upgrade the dagger to the molten dagger. That seems good to me. Now we just got to maximize the our, our, the work that our spear can do. We got plenty of space out here. Uh, let's see. Could probably do better, right? Get something like this going together. Let's see if we can't fit the banana in. That's what she said. <laughs> and then we'll just get it there. Okay, that seems reasonable, right? Our, our spear is maxed out. We're loading up the dagger. Our banana still fits. The mana orb, not really doing anything this round, but that's okay. There's another customer card though. Let's go ahead and reserve the one out here. All right, good stuff. I gotta, I gotta keep looking back at that shop. I feel like we missed like two or three things in the shop that really kind of shaped the way this run was going, but we'll turn it around. Things are, things are picking back up. Feels like we're going a little bit too slow against the Reaper here. We might finally pull it off at the end. Saw that, saw that poison creeping up, and I didn't think we'd be able to take that one down, but got it at the end of the day. Good stuff, good stuff. And so yeah, let's take the customer card. We'll build up that. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll figure out. We can get we can get the customer card up here at the top. And okay, so as far as these other ones go, it's coming together nicely. The the food we're not building towards, so we'll let the chili pepper go. And here's the, the holy armor that we're going to use as our big uh, build-around thing. It's I, I mentioned that we we're kind of like looking to go towards the holy mechanic. You 100% have to have the holy armor to make it work within this archetype. The uh, That's why I specifically wanted to call it out earlier. It's just if you uh, don't have... The holy armor, which turns into the sun armor to turn all of your fire items into holy items. It, it makes it really challenging to get maximum usage out of your stuff, out of your mechanics. It'll be a little bit more clear as it pops up within the next round. But um, seeing this turn come up early makes me feel like 100% that we're just going to chase after the, the holy build here. Right. Let's see if we can't shred through the armor. They get armor off the dragon scale thing, and so it's nice having spears against that since you uh, destroy armor for those free slots in front of us. Just very big, uh, very big hits that come out of it. Okay, and a lot of other good stuff here as well. The, uh, the, the Holy Spear is the spear plus the glowing crown. We saw the glowing crown just come in and turn up. Uh, we also have the Holy Armor up here as well. Now, the only thing that's a, a, a real bummer in this space is this stuff is all very expensive, right? It's 13 for the Holy Armor, 12 for the crown. And so uh, 
it's you know very tough to come out and kind of manage <clears throat> having enough uh, bag space to uh, fit all of these things and then also um, uh, like having the money to get the bags and all of the items and everything it's it's kind of a tough fit at times but I think this is coming together okay let's see All right, we'll give up on one uh, one mana space here to. Uh, oh, yeah, we go. We need. I needed to move the mana orb up to get it to fit in this space. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, <laughs> the the customer card doesn't actually land on anything here. A little bit awkward, but I think we'll make it work. Okay. On into battle. Yeah, I see our bags are kind of fucked here. These items are all very expensive. <laughs> Look at how much bag space the, the, the Thunder Cougar F has over here. Just bags on bags on bags. I'd really like to have some of that. <laughs> Definitely lacking, but it's one of the, the kind of min-max things that'll come out of this build. Seems like we're doing okay. They aren't scaling up poison on us, and so I figure as this drags on, we're going to be fine. All right, we got the takedown. Feels good. Can we get up to 16 this round? I would really enjoy it if we could get both the bag and the, the crown. What do we got? If we sell off this food... Need one more. We can, we can sell off a fire thing and feel kind of okay about it. Like, I, uh... I, I don't quite want to sell the pig. I, I feel like we need to keep the uh, keep the finances up. So let's see. We the let's say the the fire item stuff. I guess we can do like this kind of awkward. I, I want to uh, to get maximum usage out of this mana orb, but I also want to, uh, to to get the fire item activations off of the sun armor. We're going to have to sell this pig eventually. I think this is okay for the moment. Here comes the holy spear. Alright. But maybe now that we've got this big chunk of stuff out of the way, we'll be able to, to get up some bag space and start getting this together a little more effectively. Opponent's burning us down, though. Sad day. Getting those big hits in. They did run out of stamina towards the end. I thought we might have been able to, to fight through that, but it's a little bit short. So yeah, we're going to take the Crusader. Uh, again, this, th this works nicely because it's going to get that activation in for all of the holy items, and then all of the items touching the sun armor become holy, and so we get a, a nice little bit of, of, of double usage there. But, again, like, we really gotta get some bags. I guess a, <laughs> I guess a, a one-slot bag is better than no bags, and so we got that coming in. Alright, and then a backpack at the end. Kind of crappy, but better than nothing. Let's see how we can arrange this. Still got to... You don't have to keep the space out in front of the Holy Spear uh, if it's holy, right? And so you typically need the empty spaces at the end, but this says destroy six armor and cleanse one debuff for each free slot or holy item in front of it. So uh, we can put holy things in front like the burning banner. We can put fire things in front like this, how we just turned the dagger. And so we can make a bit of usage out of it like that. So, you know, we, we can push the flames up uh, to where they're holy and next to the sun armor, but we're, we're kind of lacking in the number of flames that we actually have at this point, and so it's a bit of a weak point. We will get the, the burning banner up here, though. It's like it's five either way. All right, something like that seems reasonable. Starting to build up. Just need more flames at this point. Hopefully they'll they'll start to, to build up within our bag. <laughs> I, I haven't been paying total attention in terms of how they generate. Like I'm pretty confident you don't just get one every turn, but I don't know. We've made it we've made it through 
bronze. We've made it through silver. We're about to make it through platinum. Oh, we made it through gold. Now we're making it through platinum and still don't even know how the, how the basic mechanic works. So, kind of is what it is. But here we go. The, the heart container, you know, kind of drives home everything that's happening within this stuff, right? It has the, uh, the, the heart regeneration gain to it. And then the heart regeneration is going to activate faster and faster and faster as we get more heat. And then uh, it really just ties in together with all this stuff. But it's not on sale. We're hurting for bags. I think we just want to take another round again to just cycle through. See if we can't pick up some more bags or pick up some stuff that's on sale. Uh, I don't think we need more mana orbs at this point. We could probably just rearrange our bag to make them a little bit more effective. Let's see. Let's get this. This is going to be a big rearrange of a turn. Now we've got multiple of the of the bags, on, uh, multiple of the attack speed bags on our Holy Spear. We could probably rearrange it a little bit better to get some of them happening on the Molten Dagger. But we'll get there. And then I think, like, at the end of the day... We need to be doing something like this to where we push uh, the the flame bag down and then we can uh, get the sun armor on top and then just completely wrap the sun armor and so we're getting there we're getting there sure something like that looks kind of reasonable Lost out on a, on a bunch of stars in front of our burning banner, though. It needs to drop down one. There we go. That looks a little better. All right. Battle time. It's tough. I, I, I'm a little a little sloppier. I usually make my, my videos in the morning. As far as life goes today, ask yourself how many, to how many times would you feel absurd? Or would it feel absurd for you to have to... Home Depot. <laughs> you're, you're, you're doing a project, you go to your Lowe's, you go to your Home Depot, you buy all the stuff, and then you come home and you fuck something up and you're like, ah, I got to go back. It's not that big of a deal. So you go back. How many times of going back do you have to do before you just feel absurd? Now, I went four times today. It was fucking obnoxious. I was so mad after the third time. And then like after number three, the wife was like, oh, I want to go out of the house. You just want to go back? And I was like, fuck it, fuck it, fine. And so if you if you look at your door, right, there's the, the stuff that goes around the door that hides all the nasty shit and the gap behind it. Like I knew that this was going to be a, a rough install because I did all of the framing and then I did all of the drywall on top of it. And then I did the door hanging. And so I knew that everything was just all out of whack and nothing was straight and stuff was like off kilter and there was drywall outside of the frame on one side and it was it's just a, a complete shit show with this door that I installed and today was the day that I had to put that trim around it that makes it not look nearly as shitty and so like I know better I, I know that I should have just bought more materials right from the start because I was gonna fuck some of them up so I only bought five pieces that was exactly how much uh, lumber I needed to wrap around the door. And so it was like, I, I did it once and then like, I got one up and it was like, oh, that wasn't so bad. And then I, I got the entirety of whole, like one side done. And then I split one of the boards in half and I was like, fuck. And so I got I definitely got to replace that one. But, and so let's continue on. So like, all right, I got most of it up. I just needed to replace that one board. So I went back to Lowe's and, uh, I, I bought a board, but I, I couldn't find the ones that I initially bought. And so I, I picked up one and I thought it was the right one, but it felt too heavy. And I was like, this probably isn't the right one, but I'm feeling kind of good about it. And so I was like, all right, fuck it, whatever. I'm taking this one. Got it home. It was the wrong one. So I said, fuck, immediately went back. I, I did take a picture of like the skew on the like the, the boards that I was already putting up. And so I was like, all right, well, I'll just match up the number. So I did that. I matched up the number. I got it home. I installed it. And it just didn't look right. I, I knew something was off. And like some of the lines were fucked up. It was a completely wrong board, even though that the skews matched. And I was like, God damn it. Like, this is the way my day is going to be. <laughs> this is the way it's going to end. Like, this isn't a returnable item now because I cut part of the bottom off and I nailed a bunch of holes in it. And so I was like, well, fuck. And so I eventually went back, got that last board on trip number four. 
and and got it in like the, they say you know measure twice cut once i typically like measure twice cut three times because <laughs> Because <laughs> I just, I fuck it all up so hard, but I, I paid like so close attention making all of the cuts on this one that I didn't have to make a trip number five. And so <laughs> that's why, that's why I'm a little bit off kilter today. Like I, I took what I expected to be maybe like a one to two hour job and turned it into a six hour job with four trips to Lowe's. And so <laughs> you get old, that shit kind of happens. You get a little bit bamboozled as far as stuff goes. All right, story time's over, though. Let's jump back in. I, I wasn't paying enough attention to how our stamina looked. I, I really like stacking in the, the stamina or the heroic potions and draining out our stamina, but uh, this comp tends to rely more on the holy items just activating over and over and over again, and so I think we'll skip past the heroic. God, these, these potions are so good, though. Fucking fine. We'll see. It's just like if another... Um, you know, big melee item comes up or something, we could just take it. Now here there is the second holy armor. Uh, we can convert that into another sun armor, but at this point, like, I'm kind of worried about our flame situation, and so I think I want to skip on that. It's a little bit expensive as is. Here's another bag at the end. We'll take that, get to rearrange all of our stuff, and... <laughs> <laughs> the the story of backpack battles the story of backpack battles i don't know how much time we spend doing this but it feels like a lot it feels like a lot of my day is spent just coming in and rearranging bags over and over and over again and so <laughs> maybe maybe it is maybe it isn't but we'll get this sorted out all right got that up and running Uh, is there an activation every three seconds? So we gotta we gotta fix this if we can. Eh, we'll just we'll just call it a day. All right, I'm happy enough with that. Got this. We'll get our stamina potion up and running. It's getting to be about time to sell. Uh, the pig. We'll, we'll see how this comes together. Got to find a better place for these these mana orbs, though. It doesn't seem like it. All right, fine. Battle. <laughs> Hi, My brain is fraud. My brain is fraud. All right, how are we doing in here, though? We're still going to tear through platinum when our brains aren't working good. We'll see. We'll see. It's like this dude's dealing absolutely no damage. <laughs> They're on this kind of minor poison comp, but our, our sun armor is coming in and just clearing all the poison off. They just didn't do fuck all that round. So that's good. That, that felt good. Now, we didn't run out of stamina, so uh, we are good to come in and just add in another item or something. What is the villain sword? Uh, melee items deal minus two damage, and then the villain sword gets plus four per melee. Uh, I, I'm not certain what I think of that. Like, if we're going to start picking up daggers and stuff, I think I just want to get another another spear. We'll, we'll try and level that up into the, the, the holy thing again. Another bag. All right. Well, let's, let, you know what time it is. Time, to, it's time to come in and rearrange everything again. All right. So this spear is not nearly as good as the uh, as the holy spear. It's not going to. Well, it's going to take a bit more work to actually get these activations up and running how we want. I think it's okay. The, if we're going to be real, the uh, the, the star power on the Burning Banner isn't that good, right? The 25% the chance to protect your buffs from being removed, like, that stuff is all fine. The Starred Holy Items activate, or hang on, Starred Holy Item activates. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it doesn't, like, you get one tick off of these flames. It's the, like, Sun Armor and the Holy thing activating over and over again that you really care about uh, getting the, uh, trying to put the blinds on the opponent. I mean, 
sure. <laughs> this platinum customer card we have not found a good location for. Just keep the pig around for the gold. We could probably put it down here, I guess, amongst the flames. Like, this isn't horrible, I guess. Moving it around like that. We still need a better place for the, the mana orb. All right, battle. Not super worried about being optimal here as much as just kind of showing how these mechanics work. Did you want to gain some armor, bro? Oh wow, that's wild! How much? How? Uh, how much? How we just ran out of stamina super fast, adding in that spear. Now these are like pretty high attack speed spears with the four bags that they're laying on, and so interesting. Is he gonna out drain us? And so we got up to twenty-two uh, health regen. This wasn't quite enough. Like I said, I do like picking up all of these daggers whenever they turn up. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, okay, things are starting to pick up here. And so I'm good to add in the leather bag. I would like to pick up this heart container. Again, these are, are very strong build around things. Uh, I think I'm just going to sell the platinum customer card. Let's be real, we're not actually doing anything with it. And so that can go. Let's see if we can't. get it over here to the right of this thing at least try and get some other other directions of activation i would like to find the you know we need to find another upgrade the spear thing but it's coming together all right so there's our molten dagger looks like that's about as good as it's going to get i, I don't think we want to pick up Shield of Valor. Again, that's another one that you can turn into the Sun Shield type items uh, to where it does a, a little bit more, but again, like I, it feels like we're just so far behind in terms of flames that uh, I'm not super interested in it at this point. So as far as this build goes, I, I want to continue to get the flames in. We need to find the... Uh, the, the thing to upgrade this second spear that we have, the heart tiara, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, I would like to pick up more uh, stamina potions. If we had four stamina potions, I'd feel pretty good about that. Uh, and then we, we'll see how we can continue from there. All right, so none of that applies within this stuff. Let's take a roll. Bag. All right. Getting the heat in the bag. <laughs> it just it just sounds so filthy. It sounds so filthy to say stuff like that. So what are we going to do here? Do we want the Draconic Orb? It's not horrible. Like it, It's very useful in the sense that if we put the Draconic Orb here underneath the Sun Armor, it does activate over and over and over again, attempting to remove thorns, which works with the Burning Banner. Like I guess that's enough synergy to, to want to pick it up. I mean, it's a good deal, at least in terms of price. Uh, so we can snatch that, I guess up the attack speed bag then we do need to find um, uh, we, we need to find a what you call the the thing for the spear I thought we had another attack speed thing I thought we were gonna get to load up both daggers All right, well, that's happening. Get more flames on the sun armor, sure thing. So it's at least starting to come together, right? The flame armor is, you know, pretty much getting to be completely wrapped. Um, the, the burning banner has a lot to build on. We're starting to amp up some of this uh, regeneration thing. And so let's see what we can do. going for the fatigue and so it's going to take a bit to ramp up and then his this thing will really kick off once the, fati the fatigue starts to hit he didn't get there womp womp 
All right, so do we want to add in the lightsaber? Again, this is another holy item. It's one of those things to where, you know, it does drain your, your heart regeneration. And so, like, stacking on blinds is, is kind of awkward to me in the sense that there's just a lot of comps that don't really care, right? Food comps don't care. Um, I think a lot of the things coming out of the what's her name out of the reaper just don't care and so it's kind of damned if you do damned if you don't with a lot of this stuff because it is quite good against say the berserker it's quite good against uh, a dragon comp or any other melee comp and so it i don't know it's tough just like if you're playing against crit ranger and you get to to make them 25 percent chance less to hit it might pull off something and so it's kind of interesting there i'd almost rather just have these other spears though but i guess at this point it hasn't quite turned up, and we're probably just never going to build towards it, and so just get rid of it. Got a bag. Did have a dagger turn up, though. Easy. Oh, there's our... <laughs> like, I, I thought that we had another, another one turn up. By God, we did. Let's do this. I, I want to pick up this new dagger. It's... Here, we'll just sell the pig. Get it up and running. The bag is kind of sorted. Like, I'm not certain how much it matters to have the, um, you know, the, these few points of health gain at this point, right? I, I don't feel like we're going to push this beyond. And so let's just go ahead and limit that. I'm going to stack up on the sun armor and see if we can't just close this out. I'm not going to push this beyond the the additional rounds. I think our build kind of sucks, and so... <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that comes together. Oh. I thought the ranger was going to pull that out right at the end. But, yeah, I'm going to call it quits here. Um, it seems like the 8 is decent. I feel like we're probably just not going to be able to... Uh, win too many rounds because our comp didn't come together that strongly and so you know hopefully it was at least a, a bit of an interesting intro to the the pyromancer i know my my brain was a little bit off on this one but hopefully seeing the heat mechanic and how some of these things work and a touch of a primer to the holy mechanic as well uh, helps you out with this in the future and so that is going to do it hope everyone enjoyed the video hope you maybe learned a thing or two along the way i had a good time watching this is Boston we thank you for being here